Now, question number two uh, is on the NEC. And the question is, how should an electrician size the overcurrent protection device to allow a motor to start and accelerate the load? And this is from JR in uh, Oklahoma. And JR, I would refer you uh, to 430.6A as an Apple one first. And that section instructs you to uh, use the table currents to size every element and component uh, of the motor circuit except uh, the overloads. So uh, in reference uh, to maybe a, a, an example that we'll give here, a three-phase uh, 460 volt uh, uh, 50 horsepower motor, uh, 430.6A1 would refer the user of the NEC uh, to table 430.250 and a uh, 50 horse three-phase 460 motor has a 65 amp full load current rating uh, per table. Then we would ref, uh, go to 430.52 and 430.52 refers to table 430.52 and we would uh, say use a circuit breaker we pick up a 250 percent in the last column of that table. 250% of 65 amps would be approximately maybe around 163 amp roughly. And we could round up to 175 or round down to 150 as instructed and section 430.52C1 and exception 1. But please make note that the percentages of 250% in the table it's just a starting point. You could always round down to a smaller size if it would start your motor. If it, uh, if you had uh, problems uh, keeping the motor uh, starting all the time, a nuisance trip and say, uh, you could use exception two to 430.52 and maybe use a size larger than the exception one roundup size. Now, Many times in the field, an electrician may not have a code book, so basically sometimes what they'll do is go to the nameplate of the motor. Now let's just say this 50 horse, three phase, 460 volt motor had a 61 amp nameplate. 430.6A2 says the nameplate is used only for the overloads. But electricians will round 61 amp up to an even unit of 10, so 61 amp to 7, 70, excuse me, uh, would be the roundup size. Then they would say, well, as long as my code letter does not exceed A through H, the design letter does not exceed D, it'd be like uh, A, B, C, D, uh, we would use 6 times. So they would uh, take 6 times 70 amp, 420, using a circuit breaker that holds uh, three times its rating or a fuse that holds five times its rating at 600 volts or less, say. Three into 420 would be 140 amp. Round that up, that'd be 150, and that is the round down size. But uh, this is this one procedure that you could uh, use to size the overcurrent device to allow a motor to start and run, accelerate the load if you wanted to use this procedure. One is the actual calculation and one is a rule of thumb. Now, uh, if we should look at uh, 430 uh, dots, uh, I believe it's seven, and we looked at uh, that section, uh, we could uh, refer over to uh, our table uh, 430.251 for this particular motor and we would find that a uh, 50 horse three phase 460 volt motor would have a starting current about 363 amp. So when you took a say 150 amp circuit breaker times three that's 450 amps then that's more than enough to start the motor 
and accelerate the load if the load does not become a problem. I hope this information will be helpful to you, JR, and uh, try it out and see how it works for you.